to think only the best of other people, to repeat nothing that is best forgotten, and to treat others as we would like to be treated. Amen. Amen. Now, open day. Teachers are going to be in their classrooms, so you'll need to help your parents find the right classroom with the right teacher for their interviews. Please remember that all your parents would like to see good manners. Remember, good morning, good afternoon, taking your hats off, so please make sure you're on your best behaviour. Have a very good day. Thank you. We're trying to get the best out of every child. We're preparing them for their secondary schooling. They go on to schools in Kenya, they go on to schools in South Africa, and they'll also go on to schools in England. Um, we have a good range of teachers, some from the UK, some from Kenya, some from South Africa, and some from actually Australia and New Zealand. So um, the children get a, a broad spectrum of um, knowledge from a wide variety of teachers. Now, as soon as you've got this shape, you need to slip that finger in the middle, okay? We're very lucky. We're a small school in a rural environment. We're about an hour and a half away from Nairobi, so it means that parents can get here quite easily. They can actually have a Nairobi life, but get here in an hour and a half. Right, get what you need and move away. Because the children live on campus, they're not spending any time in the car, which means that whilst a child in Nairobi is going to and from school and perhaps spending two hours on the road, the child at Pembroke House is actually doing quality activities. So they will be going to their riding, doing their squash, doing their prep, or just playing with other children, which is a very important part of growing up. Being a teacher in Pembroke feels like being part of a family. The fact that it's a boarding school and we all live together brings a close bond that way when you're relating to children and other members of staff, there's understanding and you're probably going to deliver more because you, have, you love these people as part of your family. I think there's a lot of respect in this school, which is uh, very unique uh, in my experience. When you walk into the school, you'll see the pupils, if they're wearing a hat, they'll, they'll take the hat off and say, good morning, sir, good afternoon. Something that you don't expect, and I definitely haven't experienced in my teaching practice elsewhere. Academic standards at Pembroke are very high, I must say. I feel that um, factors contributing to these are the fact that parents take an active interest to know how their child is doing and the support from teachers and tutors, and they all mentor these children to reach the best level they can. You need to have the address in the top right hand corner with the date underneath and then you go down a line and put dear sir or madam. The academic environment is quite intense. Um, they have uh, a broad range of subjects, obviously English, maths, French, science, geography, history, classics, Latin, Swahili. Then we have design technology, ICT. So they have a broad range and uh, we aim to get the very best results at Common Entrance. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making PowerPoints. It's useful in the sense that we're going to be showing people through pictures, words, animation, slides. We've got 30 staff and we all live together with the children, which means we all wake up together, we all have lunch together and we all basically go to sleep together. The staff give 100% commitment to each school day. They're on hand to help with everything from whether it's an extra that they teach whether they're helping a child with their homework or whether they're giving a little bit of extra coaching. Wow, well, it's magic. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So the staff are incredibly committed and the children get so much more out of their, their, their day. And you've got to separate the soil from the water using your filter paper. The lessons sometimes get really hard but um, your teachers are always there for you and they urge you on to do stuff. They'll explain it if you don't understand. They're always very helpful and you, you can always rely on them. You don't have to rely on your parents so much. William, merch your hands, yeah. Well done, Lee. Merch better, group number three. The teachers are with the children through all of their sort of life at the school and, and have a role in that. So you've got the role, your teaching role, and you've got your role outside of teaching as a, a sort of mentor and somebody who can guide the, the pupils.
Now, the repeat mark has a double line. A bit when you're teaching, there's the passion because you understand the child psychologically, emotionally. You see them at their down times, their high times. So when you're teaching, you have more understanding of what this child could be going through. I feel the atmosphere would be the best to teach or to deliver because you understand where the child is coming from, what they are capable of doing and what you want them to do. At Pembroke, you learn how to deal with friends and how they like you to be with them. And you learn how each one of your friends is and you get a lot closer to them because you live with them. Benedictus Benedicat per Jesum Christum Dominus Nostrum. Amen. At first, you don't really know anyone, but then when you like get settled in, when you meet your classmates, it's really easy to get to know them because everybody's just so nice. And then you get stronger and stronger friendships until you know each other so well. It's almost like family. Everyone supports you, even when you first come here. You know that you don't have to be homesick or anything because everyone's around you. You can always count on your friends. And you know that your friends will always be there, right beside you. Would you climb a hill? try and cover all aspects of what a modern parent would like out of a boarding school. The children have mobile phones. They can use them on a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon. They can use them on a Saturday and a Sunday. Well, they've also got email contact. If parents are here for a week, say, staying in Gilgil, then their children could be day children and go out after prep. If, on the other hand, at the weekends they can't get here, then we're a full boarding school and we take care of them. <laughs> I keep in touch with my daughter every week in terms of uh, calling her on email as well. And uh, there's that flexibility you can pick up your child over the weekend. You don't actually feel your child is in a boarding school. You feel your child is at home. Our kids, as you know, are, are still very young, 8 years and 11 years, and they need their attention, and we see that they get their attention. We love the school and it's a great sort of family school, small enough and, and it's like a big one big happy family. Excellent, Herbert. Well done.